with like with, with with making growing and you know a lot of the artists that you're working with you know what i'm saying uh it's been it's been a, a little surge recently like you know the scene around here you know it's growing mm -hmm. you know uh so kind of like you know kind of kind of like speak on that as well as like what's what in your opinion like what's some of the similarities and differences between you know down there in the 229 and you know making and you know mm -hmm. allowing well I feel like as far as um, the 229 and the 478 goes, that's south of Miller, Georgia, I feel like the only difference between those two areas and a place like Atlanta, I feel like um, the unity aspect of things, um, I feel like a lot of the artists and producers and DJs could unify a little bit better in both of those markets. Um, I feel like that's really the only difference. Well, one of the the only obvious uh, differences. I mean, the talent can't be denied. Yeah. I mean, I feel like if you drop twenty South Georgia artists, twenty Middle Georgia artists, and twenty Atlanta artists in one building, you'll hear good music from all areas. Mm -hmm. So I never felt like it was a talent thing. I just feel like it's just certain uh, aspects of it that we haven't necessarily tackled that people in the bigger markets have. And I also feel like it comes down to which, I mean, you can always use it Atlanta for an example because it's like the mecca of music right now. Yeah. Um, it's so much success that has come through Atlanta musically. I feel like there's a formula for success that Atlanta has that a lot of other, well, smaller markets may not have. You know, we've seen a lot of talent come from the middle Georgia area, come from the South Georgia area, but when it comes down to somebody really, really breaking that threshold and getting to that next next level, um, it's not really happened like it has happened for a lot of the artists from Atlanta. So I feel like it's just it's certain things that we have to implement just from a unity standpoint and a knowledge standpoint to get us to where we need to be to where we can say, you know, we bring something to the table just like Atlanta does or Miami or New York or California or whatnot. Cause like I said, it's never been about the talent in my opinion. It's talent all over those markets. It's just the other little intricate details that we haven't really tapped into that they have. Yeah. So I feel like it just takes one person to jump start it though. I feel like once we get somebody that really gets to a certain point, then we'll be able to see, okay, well, this is what he did, well, this is what he or she did to get to this point. So other artists and producers can kind of feed off of what they did. So I feel like that's one of the biggest differences. Yeah. Yeah. Just seeing somebody reach a new level and other people can be able to follow that person's blueprint yeah. and make it into their own to reach a new level. Absolutely. What what's some of the best advice you ever received, and like like who who did it come from? Um, some of the best advice I ever received. Um, I would say some of the best advice I ever received was to just continue to show um, patience and humility. Um. And that little bit of uh, advice came from uh, Ted Lucas. Uh, Ted Lucas is actually the CEO of uh, Slip and Slide Records down there in Miami, Florida. Mm -hmm. um, I was working with the label uh, in 2020 as an A&R. Yeah. So while I was in Miami, um, you know, he was giving me a lot of good game about how I should try to maneuver through the game as just a young producer as well as trying to tap into the executive side of things. And that's what he told me, you know, just always display uh, the adequate amount of patience and humility. Uh, you want people to like you in this business. You may not like everybody that you come that you come across, but you don't want to be labeled as somebody who's difficult to work with. Um, and I feel like having humility and being humble takes you a long way in the industry where it's full of you know people with crazy egos and bad attitudes and all that type of shit. So. You know, and I feel like I've that's pretty much what I've been doing throughout the duration of me trying to reach the level that I'm trying to get to. Just, you know, work hard, be patient and just be as humble as I can be. I know uh, most people that really know me can tell you, 
you know, I've never been on no Hollywood shit or nothing like that. You know, I've always been a pretty humble guy. You know what I'm saying? I try to build good relationships with anybody who wants to build one with me. Um, so I feel like that has also played a part in some of the blessings that's starting to come in now. You know, just being a genuine person to all of my uh, peers over the years and not, you know, trying to cross nobody out, not trying to step on anybody's toes. Mm, just staying in my own lane and not being a hater. That's big too. A lot of people uh, tend to feel like they can't show support to the next artist or the next producer, but realistically, what's for you is going to be for you. So whether you big up the next person or not, it's not going to take away from your journey. Um, so I feel like that takes that can take you a long way too. The more love you show, the more support you show, the more you'll receive it in the long run yourself. So I feel like those are just some of the factors that play into uh, trying to reach new levels. Yeah, personally. Um, for the people that's watching, you know what I'm saying, especially the youth out there and you know what I'm saying, upcoming producers like, you know what I'm saying, that want to chase their dream, you know what I'm saying, what? What advice would you give, you know what I'm saying, to those youth that's watching right now? Um, just stay dedicated. Uh, don't let anybody deter you from reaching your goals. Um, if it's something that you're truly passionate about, then just continue to do it. Educate yourself. Uh, don't ever just think it's all about the physical aspect of it. It's also about how much knowledge you can retain within the art that you're pursuing. Um, use platforms like YouTube, for your example. Get on there and look at some of the producers that you look up to. Watch their interviews. Uh, see some of the things that they had to do, some of the trials and tribulations that they experienced along the way and how did they bounced back from some of the losses that they took. Um, and definitely um, believe in a higher power for sure. Um, I try not to get too deep into religion and whatnot, but whatever your beliefs are in that regard, then stay close to whatever your higher power is. Uh, pray a lot. Uh, talk to God a lot. Um, and just believe in yourself. You know, you got to believe in yourself more than anybody else does. Um, remain humble. Um, do right by people. You know, don't cross nobody out. Don't snake nobody out. You know, and just be, just be you. Don't ever feel the pressure of trying to feel like you need to sound like somebody else so you got to do this and that, how somebody else does it. Find your formula, find out what works for you, and stick with it.